from the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your evening update. definitely start to see that rain move in from the west, making its way eastward and eventually making its way into the valley. It will continue to push eastward here throughout the evening and into tonight. Let's get you through Kruger's quick cast here. And before we really start with that, hey, I want to remind you that we need to set those clocks back an hour tomorrow night into Sunday morning. You can do it either day, uh, but uh, bottom line, you just want to make sure that they set the clock back an hour. Now, the sun is going to come up an hour earlier. That's good. What's not so great is that the sun is going to go down an hour earlier. So the days are just getting shorter in general, but now we're just kind of setting the clocks back and it's going to make things a little bit worse for us. Uh, just depends on how you look at it, but that's the bottom line. Also, a friendly reminder to change the batteries in your smoke alarms and your carbon monoxide detectors. All right, take a look at some of the rainfall totals as of about 5 o'clock here on this Friday. Now you can see here, it was the north end of the valley, I saw the bulk of the rain, and of course southward less. But of course, as we go into the evening, we'll be looking at more rain down to the south here. But I mean, look at this. I mean, over a quarter of an inch of rainfall. And quite honestly, we've got more on the way. You know, the forecast models were saying less than a quarter of an inch. And then there was another one that I showed you that it brought it up to about a quarter of an inch. And I think we're gonna see a little bit more than that on top of that. Now you can see out in Burning, 6800s, but look at Crescent City, over two inches there. 3900s out in Trinidad and a little less than a half an inch in Eureka. But look at Fortuna, 7200s and 8100s out in Redway. So yeah, some pretty decent amounts. But again, the typical, most of it to the north and west, less heading down to the south and east. All right, so for tonight, we're still be looking at the rain. Could even see an isolated thunderstorm. Cool, temperatures mid 40s. Could see some chain requirements east. We'll take a closer look though on future cast here a little bit later. But uh, temperatures for the coast tonight will be in the mid 40s for your overnight lows. All right, so out the door tomorrow morning, here's what we've got going on in store for us. We're gonna be looking at dry conditions. There may be a few showers here and there, but overall, it's dry. It's going to be mainly dry here throughout the day tomorrow. Some of the mountains may see a brief sprinkle, a light shower, but overall it's going to be a dry day tomorrow. Here's the cold front right here. That's what's moving through here. That's what moved through today and is going to continue to move through this evening. Behind it, still a little cool and unstable, but as the storm system continues to move to the east, we'll begin to stabilize the atmosphere more and we will see less in the way of rain and warmer temperatures drier conditions making the way back to the forecast. All right, so here's future cast through tomorrow. All right, let's take you through time here. There you can see as we go into 6 a.m., I mean, just a few showers. And again, early tomorrow morning, some of us in the valley, especially the south, may see a brief shower or a light sprinkle, but overall you can see not much going on. It's just kind of down here out into Plumas County. Then we go into the noon hour, again, fairly dry, but there may be just a light sprinkle for some of us on the coast for some of the higher elevations, but you can see the clearing skies that we do have for the valley through Saturday afternoon. All right, so here's your forecast for tomorrow. Temperatures in the low to mid 60s in the valley. We're talking 40s for most of those uh, higher elevations uh, for tomorrow, and those temperatures along the coast in the mid to upper 50s for your daytime highs. All right, let's take a look at your seven day outlook for the valley. Again, maybe a brief morning sprinkle, but overall dry for the weekend, getting warmer as we take you through next week. Here's your coast, dry for the weekend, dry inland, dry for Trinity County, dry through all of next week. We get drier weather in the forecast. Taking a look at uh, the mountains. So I put the chance in here for Saturday for Alturas, basically Modoc, Siskiyou, uh, and uh, also into uh, Lassen County, even Del Norte County, quite honestly. If you see a passing sprinkle, don't be surprised. But really, honestly, for the most part, you are mainly dry through the weekend. And then we're dry and a little bit warmer going through next week. All right, that's your quick cast, as quick as I could go. But now let's go into a little bit of deeper dive and really kind of dive into the forecast going through the weekend and into next week. Cool and unsettled through tomorrow morning. So we're gonna see that here tonight and into early tomorrow morning. Possible chain requirements east of I-5 this evening into tonight, but I do expect drier and warmer this weekend and dry and warmer 
for pretty much all of next week as well. All right, so again, here's a look at that satellite image. There's the cold front right here. That's what's been moving through this morning and afternoon and will continue to push eastward. The farther this thing moves off to the east, the less and less of chances that we do start to see that rain. So things are going to start to dry out as this cold front passes off to our east. So once again, here's future cast, but we're gonna take you all the way through the weekend now. All right, so here we go. Here's eight o'clock tonight. We're seeing this another round making its way through Trinity, Siskiyou County, and some heavier rainfall down to the south and east. We're also seeing some of that snow in some of the higher elevations, but mainly above 5,000 feet. Now the winds are fairly strong. We may get what's called that training effect. It's something we haven't talked about here in a while, but you can see the line right here that we could be dealing with here. So we'll take a look at that. That could be interesting here for tonight, worth watching overnight tonight. Then we go into about 6 a.m. Saturday, it's all pretty much wrapping up. There may be a brief sprinkle down to the south and east, a little bit of activity in Plumas County, but otherwise fairly dry. As I mentioned, through the day on Saturday, if you see a passing sprinkle for some of the higher elevations, don't be surprised, but overall it's dry. And of course it's dry with mostly sunny skies for many of us in the valley. But look at this, Saturday night, What's going on here? We take you into Sunday morning. What's going on over here? Uh, Siskiyou County and Modoc County still seeing just that lingering little bit of activity here and there. So don't be surprised if you see some of that. But really, when we look at the entire weekend, when we look at Saturday all day long, Sunday all day long, it's looking dry for the most part. But I just want you to be aware that if you live anywhere in the mountains, even on the coast, if you see a stray sprinkle or maybe just a brief flurry for some of the higher elevations for a very short period of time, and it won't amount to much if anything, that's what you're looking at here through the weekend. Otherwise, it's dry. And it should be actually a very nice weekend in store for us and even better for next week. But I do wanna show you the road conditions and mainly just looking at the snow. Here's 10 o'clock tonight. We're really not seeing a lot out there. So even in this evening, shouldn't be that big of a deal, but look overnight, early tomorrow morning for the potential for maybe a few chain requirements out there. Maybe on Cedar Pass in Modoc County, maybe near Bogard Ranger Station in Lassen County. But you can see we're not really seeing, I mean, even on Scott Mountain, right there, that's the, the the Siskiyou and Trinity County line there, we may not even see much in the way of snow up there. So I just don't see much activity here. And then as we go into the afternoon on Saturday, conditions will improve. So again, we may see some chain requirements east of I-5, but it won't be as extensive as what we saw with that first storm. So there's that storm system moving through tonight. And as we go through the weekend, we could see a passing sprinkle here and there for some of the higher elevations, but by Sunday, it's all pretty much gone. But look at Monday. Monday, we have a brief system passing to our north. That may just clip Northern California, Del Norte, Siskiyou, Modoc County. All a slight chance for a stray sprinkle again. More of a nuisance than anything else. And then for Tuesday of next week, we got low pressure coming down from the north and high pressure off to our west. We could see a pretty strong wind event. Now, here's the deal. As we go into Tuesday and we've got those strong north winds, it may be fairly dry. I'm expecting humidity levels on Sunday to be in the teens again for the valley. And there's really no indication for me to believe that the humidity levels will go up by next Tuesday. So if we have a strong north wind and, and uh, those, uh, those uh, humidity levels in the teens, we could be looking at elevated fire danger on Tuesday, November 5th. It's not terribly uncommon for us to see the fire season continue in November. So, I mean, don't look at that and go, my gosh, it's November, we're still talking about fires. Yeah, it can happen. It's becoming more and more common for us around here. Then we go into Friday, really towards the end of next week, the winds will start to die down. And it was beginning to look like maybe we were opening the door for these storms to come in. And we kind of are, but the thing is they're weak. You see this one, it just fizzled out before it really kind of comes in that next weekend. This one here may be strong enough and hold on to itself to bring us some more rain by that next Sunday. But overall, it looks dry at least through next week. And going into that next weekend, no guarantees that we'll really see any rain. However, that being said, some of the long-range forecast models are picking up on maybe more of a wetter pattern moving in towards the end of next week. But we're still kind of more in that warmer than normal category. So we're in that transition here. We'll kind of see. But overall, looking at that trend, we warm up next week. This dip in the temperatures here is an indication that we may start to see chances 
for some rain in the forecast at that point. So not all hope is lost, but I'm not 100% sold on the idea that we're going to see a lot of wet weather during this time frame. But bottom line is, once we get through tonight and early tomorrow morning, we're mainly dry through the weekend, dry through all of next week, then maybe by around that next Saturday, Sunday, Monday, maybe a chance for some showers entering the picture. All right, let's take a look at your wave heights. Good news is we're far, finally starting to see those begin to weaken and die down for Saturday afternoon, taking you into Sunday. Unfortunately, it looks like they pick back up again. So let's take a look at your marine forecast here for your Saturday. You see those south winds at five, at five knots, waves from the west at eight feet at about 11 seconds. And there's a small craft advisor here for tomorrow. So just be aware of that if you do need to be on that small boat. So for tonight, temperatures in the mid to upper 40s in the valley, 20s, 30s for the higher elevations. And we got those mid 40s here as we take you out along the coast. All right, here's your Trinity County neighborhood forecast. Your temperatures mid to upper 50s to around 60. So still a cool day, but mainly dry and then dry through next week and warmer too, especially towards Thursday, Friday of next week. 55 for high tomorrow in Rio Dell, 57 for Blue Lake, 65 out in Garberville. You're dry through the weekend and a little bit warmer by the middle to latter part of next week. 59 degrees for high tomorrow in Orleans, 61 for Hoopa and Willow Creek, 58 for Smith River in Trinidad, a high of about 60 degrees. All right, you take it to Siskiyou County. We got 51 for Wairika. We got 56 for Happy Camp, 47 weed in Mount Shasta City, about 49. Again, there's that slight chance don't count on it. Count on mainly dry conditions over the weekend, but don't be surprised if anywhere in Siskiyou County, Modoc County, you run into a stray sprinkle here or there tomorrow. But overall, fairly dry for the weekend and warming up as we go towards the middle and latter part of next week. In the eastern mountains, a slight chance also on Saturday, mainly dry Sunday and warmer and drier as we take you through next week. And your valley neighborhood forecast brought to you by our friends at Walgamuth Painting. Temperatures in the low 60s for your daytime highs. 62 for Orland, 61 for Hamilton City and Los Molinos, about 62 degrees. All right, let's take you up to the north. And we've got those temperatures around 60 for Whiskey Town, 64 in the city of Shasta Lake, and 64 degrees for Red Bluff. All right, here's your 7A forecast for Redding. Those temperatures mid 60s through the weekend and 70s, low 70s through next week under mostly sunny skies. That is your evening update. Things will be drying out for the weekend. And of course, meteorologist Chase Wilson will be in on Saturday morning to give the update. He'll be taking the rest of the day off on Saturday and Sunday morning, but he'll be back again. So I'll be filling in for him Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. Until then, have a great night and have a great weekend. Wiggly Mouth. Woggy Mouth. No. Painting. Wig Wiggy Mouth. It's Woogie Mouth Painting. It's Walgamoth Painting. And yes, we'll paint anything.